What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today Rockstar made a announcement on their latest newswire that they will be making some adjustments to GTA Online in the near future and today we're just going to take a look at it very quickly. The first new thing or the first new adjustment will be a new license plate creator. So right now or at least in the past we had the iFruit app. This is a real life app by the way that you can download on your phone. And in this app, you could create a custom license plate. You had to upload it. Then you had to go in-game and then you can buy it at LS Customs. I think right now the iFruit app is not available anymore. But right now it doesn't matter because we will get the new license plate creator next week on the 20th of April. It will be web-based so you can do it on your desktop or on your phone. You don't have to download any app for it. It will be a new tool. And you will be able to create up to 30 custom plates and then you can apply them in game. Now how it will look exactly and how it will work I don't know this of course. But next week when it releases I will make a guide about it. I will tell you guys everything that you have to know about it. So if you want to see this make sure to subscribe and also like this video. The next thing that will be adjusted will be on the 27th of April. So that's one week after next week. And it will be the prices of a lot of vehicles. First vehicle is the Boxville. Instead of 2,900,000, it will go to 1.3 mil. So it will have a decrease in price. The Akula, right now, it has a price of 3.7 mil, 2.7 mil trade price, as you guys can see. But the regular price will go up to 4.5 million. The Scramjet, right now, 3.48, it will go to 4 million. So again, an increase. The Oppressor Mark II, the regular price right now is 3.89 and it will go to 8 million on the 27th of April. The Oppressor Mark I will go from 3.5 to 2.7, so a decrease in price. Then we have the Chernobog, it will go from 3.3 to 1.5, so also a huge decrease in price, which is good of course. The Deluxo will increase from 4.7 to 5.75. Keep in mind, guys, for some of the vehicles, I have a trade price. The Ruiner 2000 from 5.7 to 3.7, so that's a decrease of 2 million. The Tula from 5.1 to 4.1, so again, a decrease from 1 million. The Truster from 3.6 to 2.5, so also a decrease. The Toreador will increase from 3.6 to 4.2, so a small increase, you could say. The weaponized Ignis, only available on next gen, will go from 3.2 to 4.5, so also a pretty big increase. The RM10 Bombushka will go from 5.9 to 4.7, so that's a decrease. The Stromberg will go from 3.1 to 2.5, so again a decrease in the price. The Champion will go from 2.99 to 3.7, so a increase in price, probably because it has Imani Tech. And then the last one, the Granger 3000 LX will increase in price from 1.3 mil to 2 mil, which I don't really understand, but it will also increase. So as you guys can see, some vehicles like the Oppressor Mark II and the Toreador and the Scramjet, which are really good in the game, they will increase in price. The Oppressor Mark II will increase a lot. So if you don't have it yet, try to get it before the 27th of April. And then other vehicles like the Ruiner 2000, for example, which was kind of overpriced, it will decrease in price. Rockstar says they will continue to make adjustments like this. For example, one that they mention in the newswire is that they will rebalance certain aerial vehicles. So for example, the laser or something like that might get nerfed in the near future. So guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description and peace out you guys.